Good morning everyone. Today is uh, 21st October 2021. Now I got um, most of the blooms of my west side vanilla strawberry hydrangea plant. So see, these are the blooms. Uh, this is the first season in my garden for this plant. So, so still I feel the blooms are big. And... Um, see so uh, the top side that is more exposed to the light they are this deep color and the bottom side that is still light color you can see so when i touch they are still fresh they are not dried and uh, you see this brown that is dried so before it gets drawn it is good to bring it um, if we want the dry flower arrangement the purpose is to uh, have some uh, project um, as a dry flower um, arrangement so if you see this is still i think the bottom side anyway so these are the different different types of blooms uh, from the same plant so this is from one plant only um, the vanilla strawberry that i have in the front it has a lot of blooms uh, every week i thought i will cut i'll cut and so far i didn't do so now when i was collecting seeds from the back side then I thought, okay, let me just at least um, take few cuttings from this plant. Because anyway, they are going to uh, be brown like this. And in winter, they look good. But after that, they are damaged. And um, we have to trim in the month of March, if not now, uh, so that they can have new, new branches for the new season. So um, I learned from uh, other YouTubers uh, that they do... Um, the projects for christmas and uh, decor christmas decoration and um, many other uh, occasion uh, just to as a dry flower so if i will leave like this then um, the i'm going to show you this one this is my last year's uh, um, uh, this is my last year arrangement that i did so you see this is the um, uh, this is the bloom dry bloom if i touch it is completely dry but still they look beautiful and they are in good condition i don't know how long they will look like this but um, because i already have new blooms so i want to replace and uh, last year what i did was uh, i did um, spray some color so at the time to do some other color i already had this color so it's not that i chose this color to paint i already had this color and i wanted to experiment that's why i sprayed this color so i sprayed the color uh, two types um, two varieties uh, one i sprayed the lower part of the bloom and i left the center and this is another few few branches i uh, bloom i i sprayed the paint completely so in that way i made uh, two three arrangements uh, uh, with uh, combining whether it is fully this um, um, uh, copper sulfate color or um, fully or this is like it will look like two tone so i uh, i already threw i think the other one where i had the this burgundy i mean this color bloom so this is uh, all gray gray bloom bloom because when they completely dry then they turn into this color so this this base is uh, the gray color and this uh, this combination but i had another i i am not sure if i get some one or i threw it i don't remember exactly but anyway so um, see how it is looking this is my last year's uh, arrangement and from a distance it it looks very pretty so i i love it i love the idea people do so I used to see long time ago when I was new in America. I used to see in, uh, I think, um, I forgot the store name. Uh, I some in the, um, in the, in the plastic uh, or uh, not real, non-real uh, flower section. Um, I saw a dry flower of hydrangea. At that time, I didn't have a lot of idea about hydrangea blooms. So I remember I had seen these blooms, but now i have learned that uh, people use as dry flower decorations anyway so what i'm trying to say is see how beautiful it looks to me it looks beautiful and um, 
so uh, I had another which had this uh, this color and to preserve the color I learned that you need to put in the water like this suppose let me keep it here so that you can see nicely so we need to keep the blooms like this I mean in the water so all these blooms if I keep in the water like this then only they will have they will slowly dry the blooms and they will not uh, lose their color but if I will leave it like this only like this without water and let it dry then they may they all the blooms may turn to this color so to preserve the color this is a way uh, to keep them in the water so that um, after two weeks they will be dried but they will still have this color um, but in my experience they lose I they, 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 they lost I think 10 20 percent of the color so they, they will they may not look exactly the same color but still they will not turn into this uh, this color and which is a very pretty color to preserve so that's what I am going to do and I thought I I should share with you so all these blooms I'm going to um, put it here my second plant uh, my second plant has uh, bigger blooms much bigger so I may not have that much space so I think I need two three two three water base to dry all this but anyway i just wanted to show you how it is looking so see these are the flowers and i will be uh, saving the flowers i mean i will be keeping the flowers like this for at least two weeks and then uh, i will remove the blooms i mean i will remove the water and they are fine to decorate the way we want so i'll share with you when i will uh, do some designs So here it is how they are looking so i put whatever i had i put uh, with three glass base and uh, to me it looked beautiful so i thought let me add this part also here at the end of the video thank you for watching